everybody, it's Fun Day Sunday, and I got invited to be on the Venom Fluid Art Sunday Express. So thank you, Kayleen and Darren. I really appreciate you inviting me. So today, I'm doing a Tree of Life on this 8-inch glass cutting board from the Dollar Tree. I love using them for paintings. So I'm going to tape up the back and I'm going to speed this up because I know you don't want to watch that on Fun Day Sunday. Okay, let me cut that off and we'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing, you need these acrylic paint pens, and I'm sorry I didn't put that in the first picture, because we will be using those. Only brown and black, and we're going to create the tree. Now, when you're creating your tree, you don't have to be perfect. You just want the looks of a tree. <laughs> A tree trunk and branches and it doesn't have to be perfect I like to put the brown down and then do a little bit of um, highlight with the black and then we'll start on our uh, putting our glass down as soon as I get done with this tree This is the glass I'm using. It's decorative filler I got from Michaels. Um, I colored it with alcohol inks. And I'm just going to pour that on and then kind of shape out my tree. And now you see why your tree doesn't have to be perfect. Just get you a little tree make you some little piles of glass i'm gonna get it all situated the way i want it i've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Okay, I move on each and every day The 
past is where it stays Way back a year ago Back a year ago As soon as I finish this, I'm going to clean up the glass that I got all over my mat and be back. Okay, so I've mixed up 20 milliliters of resin. And what we're gonna do now, the art resin, and what we're gonna do now is just drizzle it over the glass. You don't wanna pour it, because your stuff will be going everywhere. I've never poured it, but I'm just saying, you just want to drizzle it. You don't want to move everything you just put in place. So you drizzle it over top of all your glass. And I'll just let you watch. Now, as I started spreading the resin out, I realized that I was going to need more resin, so I ended up mixing up uh, 20 more milliliters, and I used 10 of it. So I ended up using a total of 30 milliliters. Put on diamond dust and let me tell you this was uh, <laughs> I, know, I kept I kept dumping clumps I was trying to just shake out a little bit see there <laughs> and we just gave it a little more bling <laughs> I just kept dumping big piles I wasn't meaning to <laughs> but it was just happening and the diamond dust from my understanding is the diamond dust I'm not positive I may be wrong and if I am you can let me know in the description or in the comments but um, I thought that if you covered the diamond dust I thought I'd learned this a while ago that the diamond dust 
um, if you cover it with resin, you just want to put it on the top because if you cover it, then you like lose all that sparkle. Of course, it already had a bunch of sparkle, so it's looking pretty good. So now what I'll do is I will keep um, making sure that all my little stuff stays in place. Uh, try not to get any little scraggly pieces. Push them back into place. I mess with it. Keep pushing everything back if it's coming out. Um, the only thing that was coming out was masses of massive amounts of diamond dust. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so this is it. I'll bring you back when it's done. Oh, I want to say that I, um, come back like every 15 minutes and check it, make sure I covered it. And then I kept coming back and checking it and doing this thing, just making sure everything was still in place. And that uh, if any air bubbles came up, I torched it and then kept it covered until it was cured. Well, now, as you can see, this is a pretty easy craft that I feel like anyone could do. And it's fun and you get something blingy afterwards. All right, so here's my finished project. I um, I love it like this, but I um, really think it needs a black background. I don't know, tell me what you think. I've already put my fingers on it too much. I use this here, it's a, burner cover and I painted it black and I think it looks really good in the black. I also use these for these Dollar Tree cutting boards because um, I do like to use these to make paintings especially my radial swipes. <laughs> but um, so I like these little stands, you can put them in, they make it really nice, and I don't know, I wanted to get you guys' opinion, do you like it plain, or with a black background? Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think, clear or black? All right, everybody, I just want to say thank you to Darren and Kayleen for inviting me to tag along on the um, Venom Fluid Art Sunday Express. I appreciate you having me. I'm sorry I didn't do a radial swipe, but hey, look at what beauty I got. <laughs> so... I'm happy. It's a fun day Sunday for me. All right, everybody. I really appreciate you being here. And please leave me a comment which one you like down in the comments. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thanks for being here, and I will see you all in the next one.